Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. What show? I don't know what you're talking about. The Order. I don't know. I haven't heard about this show. Oh, I heard about it. I heard it was amazing. Oh, I better check it out. I do enjoy it quite a bit. Oh, check it out. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'll, I'll give. I'll give it a try. All right. So, um, however vaguely you want to give us this answer, what can we expect from you? Horror and hilarity. More. More horror. More hilarity. horror, more hilarity. Um, I think the world the world opens up, uh, you know, both for the knights and for the order um, as as they start to uh, you know you know for the you know for the, the audience we start to see like how these secret societies exist in a bigger environment than just the university campus. Can I say that? Yeah. All right. You can say it. You said it. <laughs> yeah. so, um, Should I have said it? Uh, you're adding another member to the uh, Wolfpack uh, Knights of Saint Paul. Who told you that? Supposedly, I'm not saying who said it or anything. I'm just gonna say that I might have heard it from somebody that you might be adding another one. We're con we're we're considering our options on that for sure. I mean, so. who wouldn't want to be a woman? Um, actually, well, apparently everybody is on the person. table yeah, except yeah, for all except for all the you old the dudes. <laughs> oh, I want to be a werewolf. <laughs> In my day, you transformed and ate meat, and you liked it. So. so we kind of got a little bit from the scene that you guys read about how the pack kind of gets back together. Is yep. that? Is that gonna like kind of drop the memory a little bit? I mean, they wake up blood stain and together. Yeah. No memory potion or anything yet. But sort of like wolves, do they have like heightened senses or like sort of like a, they have faster healing times with their memory kind of faster and get it back. This right? sounds like a pitch. It totally sounds like a pitch. I think this is a great idea. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, like, it might now. <laughs> I'm going to need you to sign a waiver. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, there's definitely, I mean, there's always, you know, there's always complications for the knights from, you know, the fact that, you know, the the magic that creates werewolves is a very specific kind of transformation magic and and the wolves aren't you know, as as we learned in season one, the wolves have their own identities. Like those hides have their own History, you know histories and personalities and it's it's you know, in terms of the relationship between, you know, like Jack and Silverback, it's 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 almost more of a um, you know, in some ways, it's almost more like a firestorm kind of relationship where there's two personalities existing in the same body. Um, without, without talking directly about the memory, I mean, the fact that Jack has now got Midnight as his high is going to be part of what we'll see. In yeah. How will that affect the Jack we know? Yeah. You know when we can expect season soon? Yeah, we totally know. <laughs> um, <laughs> ten episodes. I mean, we're, 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 I mean, we're another ten, and you know, we're starting. We're starting shooting four months later. Like we started the room four months later than when we started season one. We started season one in January. We started season two in April. Um, you know, and so we're sort of we're you know. We're on a, you know, we're, what we're trying to do is find a way to compress, you know, not production itself, but our post model so that we can keep as close to our original March uh, release as possible. But it's, you know, it's always up in the air and we haven't locked down an actual quarter yet. When it comes to doing things for like Netflix like this, is it, is it like writing for a traditional TV show or is it more like writing an extended movie? It's script? It, huh. It's more like an extended movie. It's also like what we do is because we write two parters. I actually like to think of it as we're doing five movies a season, um, you know, that are very tightly wound together and in, into into a sort of bigger arc story. Um, we also have like it feels like there's a bigger emphasis on your turns at the end of the each episode because we know what people are doing. We watch Netflix too, right? So it's like yeah. we want to hit play as soon as possible. We yeah. know that that's what people are doing, so we're trying to deliver that. Yeah. But like usually with network television, that kind of thing, there's almost like you want that sense of completion in the way, and, and with.
with with the screaming model, you want no cliffhanger. You want cliffhanger. You want to just keep moving. The, the other thing I find about it is we don't, we're not, you know, we're, we're not um, encumbered by commercial breaks at all. And that makes, you know, so we're not thinking about this as a tease in six acts. And how are we going to find all of, you know, these story turns, you know, to take us there. We, we break the show more like a, you know, if anything, it's more like a tease in three acts. And that gives us a lot more latitude to spend just developing characters because we're not looking for that... You know, we got to have a dun 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 moment to get to commercial break so that everybody will come back after the Pepsi ad. So, so Netflix is kind of notorious for like canceling shows. How, how, how do we they ensure, what? How do we ensure <laughs> season three? Watch hey, it. Don't promo you. I want to help promo. Um, they. I mean, so we, all you have to do is like keep our name alive out there and yeah. let Netflix know that the fan base is interested in the third season. I think. Yeah. Like, you guys have a much or more to do with us getting a season three. No. Yeah. Very much. It's. Yeah. It's. You know. Uh, you know, it'll be the audience reaction when when the season pops up. It'll be. You know. Uh, you know, every the, the critics' reaction to the season. You know, we're definitely, you know, we're hoping we're writing more of the same of what everybody, you know, loved about season one and going a bit bigger. Yeah. Uh, you know, we're not, you know, we're definitely not turning, you know, a corner and all of a sudden, you know, they're driving around in a bus doing like musical numbers, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, kind of thing. Okay, that might the, be season three. Well, before you guys leave, um, yeah. so the people that we see in the collective unconscious, Jack was sort of able to get out of it. Are the people that died going to be able to get out of that or are they like dead? Um, people, well, people that are dead are dead, but in a world of magic, you know, it, you know, you might be able to resurrect somebody. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.